This video is sponsored by Intel. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and we've seen some really powerful laptops come out over the last few years, but they're typically gaming laptops. But today, we're gonna be taking a look at a laptop geared towards creators and it has Intel's new ninth generation Intel Core i7 processor, which means it should be able to handle whatever creators throw at it. But not only that guys, this thing has two screens. And as a creator and a gamer, I was really excited to use the ZenBook Pro Duo for a week, and here's how it went. Okay guys, so here it is, the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. I'm gonna show you guys what this thing is all about. Jay, you mind holding the camera for a second? Thank you, Jay. So. Check this out guys, not only is this a beautiful piece of machinery with an awesome color scheme to go with it, it kind of matches me a little bit, but what's really impressive here is what's on the inside. So check this out you guys. We have two displays here. So we've got an OLED 4K display in the front and on the bottom we've got a companion display which allows you to do a lot. And the ZenBook Pro Duo is a powerhouse because this thing has Intel's ninth generation Core i7 processor. So this thing is going to be able to handle a lot. It's part of their A series, which has up to eight cores as well as 16 threads and can also reach five gigahertz on turbo. And it also supports up to 128 gigs of DDR4 RAM. And with the idea being to use this for content creation, it's nice that this has the Intel ninth generation processor because they have that optimized to work with Adobe software. Now we are going to be seeing 10th generation Intel processors coming out this fall, uh, but those are for a different kind of system. Those are for more lightweight systems. So you don't have to worry about that 9th gen becoming obsolete. But if you guys want to learn more about the processors and the laptop itself, I'll have links down below in the description. But let's keep taking a look at what we have on the outside now. So one thing that's a little bit interesting is that the keyboard is at the bottom half of the bottom half of the entire laptop. Now what's interesting is having the trackpad over here on the bottom right. You can also hit this little button over here and you have access to a whole digital number pad, I guess. And you guys can see I'm typing it everything in really quickly. So it's a very functional. So yes, this thing is beautiful and powerful. It's got some quirks, but I can get over those because of how clutch it is for editing. All right, so we got our editing master on the laptop now. Uh, Jay, you got, what is this, Premiere or After Effects? This is Premiere. Okay, so we've got Premiere over here. We've got another window for Premiere down at the bottom. And we also have the file manager. So Jay's like just able to just drag things over. Can you grab an another file, Jay, just to give him an example? Like, that's quick. Wow. That's nice. So Jay just started messing around with the quick key functions and you can pretty much set up macros with the second display to do different things you want during edit the editing process. So instead of remembering all of the shortcuts for the keyboard, you can just hit one of those and then they instantly do that right on the screen. That is so cool. So when it comes to power, this thing has obviously got it. And with multiple screens, it's just, functionality is next level too. And Jay, you're saying performance is... Oh, that's crazy. I, it's a full resolution, 4K footage. And, and what's that playback like? Let's see. Oh yeah, no, that's... Yeah, that's smooth. That's full 4K resolution playing. Man, so you know this thing has some power behind it in it order to do... After Effects open here. You've got After Effects open too? So guys, if you're <laughs> content creating, or doing anything intensive, this thing obviously can handle it. Look at that, that has some smooth playback, man. And that's honestly one of the things that really impressed me about this form factor. It looks like a gimmick at first, but it is actually very functional to have access to multiple screens, whether it's for intensive video editing or just everyday tasks. This thing really changed the way I interacted with the laptop. And it was a really nice change of pace. Okay, so this right here is really cool. This is like the perfect example of how to use multitasking on a laptop with multiple screens. Check this out. So Aaron and I have been dying to go back to Japan for a while now, and we decided it's finally time to just go ahead and book something. And this is where we start to see the multiple monitors come into play. Right here, I've got my calendar pulled up so I can see which dates are just out of the questions, which ones are blocked off. And August is pretty booked for me. 
and I know September is gonna be crazy. So I'm going straight over to October and just at a glance, you guys can see it's pretty blank. So I'm gonna be able to just go ahead, pick my dates, throw them into the calendar as soon as I pick which ones I wanna use. And then over here, before I do anything, I can just look at some hotel recommendations. And we typically stay in Shibuya whenever we go to Japan, but I don't know, man. Look at this, Akihabara? Tell me that doesn't scream Judd. I don't know, Ari's probably not gonna be down, but I would love to go there. But maybe if I just book everything now without Ari, I can get my way and just get something non-refundable. <laughs> That's just kind of mind blowing to me to be able to have all of these screens up open at the same time and just uh, being able to quickly see which hotels are recommended over here, read a quick blurb. You would typically need like a multiple monitor desk setup to kind of pull this thing off, but being able to do that in a laptop form factor, that's next level, man. This is what all laptops need to do. This kind of functionality is unreal. And you guys saw it for yourself. This laptop provides the same functionality that you would get from a dual monitor setup that you typically have with something like a desktop, but in a much more portable form factor. Not to mention, thanks to the Intel processor, as well as it having an NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics card inside, you're even able to do some really impressive gaming too. Hey guys, check this out. So Malcolm is actually gaming on the Zen Pro Duo and he's playing Overwatch. And looking at the screen, it looks really good. Uh, you definitely don't have, you lost, man. You lost. <laughs> came up from behind. But looking at the screen, this thing is definitely not on the lowest settings. Do you know what settings they're on right now? I want to say this is like on high. Right now, from what I'm seeing, it looks really good. And there's no drop frames, huh? Not at all. Like it's running completely like super smooth. Like I haven't even noticed a single drop. I mean, this thing has a 2060, an RTX 2060. I mean, it's one of the latest graphics cards, so this is crazy what this thing is able to do. It's like, what it can't do. Man, it can't help you win. That's what it can't do. <laughs> oh, I got the graphics ultra too. <laughs> oh, you got an ultra. 4K 60 frames per second right now. And that's kind of crazy to me. The fact that this is a 4K display like you're really, you're actually gaming on in 4K right now. Yeah. And guys, I think it is completely safe for me to say, for now at least, this is my favorite laptop of 2019. Being able to have access to two screens on a single laptop really changes the way you use it every day. Everything I need for work and play is possible here thanks to the Intel ninth generation processor as well as that Nvidia graphics card. So this thing has got all that you need, a beautiful screen, the power on the inside, I just feel like this is peak laptop innovation right now. I just completely love this. I hope more people adopt that second screen. That is something that I feel like will really change the way everyone uses their laptops. But sadly, I gotta give this one back and it hurts. I love this laptop and I cannot wait to get my hands on one for myself. The ZenBook Pro Duo, guys, is legit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.